Thanks to its mind-bending action sequences, careful world-building and beloved star, the John Wick franchise is incredibly popular, performing admirably at the box office and faring well with both critics and fans. With Keanu Reeves starring as the deadly titular character, these revenge thrillers have delighted viewers since the franchise started, and demand for further installments and spin-offs remains strong. Packed with unbelievable fight scenes and impeccable stunts, the Wick films have changed the face of action cinema, and their legacy will almost certainly impact action films and fight scenes in the years to come. Though hardcore fans may have seen the John Wick movies countless times and combed through them for references, fun facts and more, the mysterious world of everyone's favourite dog-loving assassin still holds plenty of secrets. From gung-fu to surprise producers and more details on those mysterious coins, here's the untold truth of the John Wick series. It's not an adaptation, but an original script. Thanks to the incredibly detailed world of the John Wick films, from Wick's intense backstory to the hotel that houses some of the world's most deadly assassins, many fans might have assumed that the first film was based on some kind of adapted source material. But John Wick was actually a completely original script. In 2012, writer Derek Kolstad developed the idea and started working on the spec script, originally entitled Scorn about a man who trafficked in evil and finally gets some sort of redemption only to lose it. After a few studios showed interest, he sold it to Thunder Road Pictures because they promised to make the movie as soon as possible. Though Wick was originally written as a much older, retired hitman, Kolstad revised the script once Thunder Road purchased the rights, making Wick younger and applying any changes the studio wanted, aided by Reeves, who helped revise the script as well. The film might not have been based on a comic book or video game, but the character of John Wick has now inspired works in both mediums. Dynamite Entertainment has since released a comic book series about Wick's origin story, and gamers can get into Wick's mindset by playing John Wick Chronicles. Just before the first film was released, Wick also appeared as a playable character in Payday 2, solidifying him as an action star even before his film debut. It's deeply connected to the Matrix series. Keanu Reeves has appeared in plenty of famous films, but perhaps his most widely known role is that of Neo in the Matrix film series, a trilogy and universe that set new standards for action films as well as giving pop culture one of its best theories about alternate realities. As Neo, the mystical one who can control the synthetic world of the Matrix and fight the machines holding humans hostage within the Matrix and the real world, Reeves established himself as a true action star, making him the ideal choice to play one of the world's most lethal hitmen in John Wick. Beyond sharing a lead actor, the Matrix and John Wick film series have quite a lot in common, including the crew who worked on both films, as well as a few other cast members. The two directors of the first film, David Leitch and Chad Stahelski, were stuntmen on The Matrix, and Stahelski was actually Reeves' stuntman. The second chapter in the series, John Wick Chapter 2, reunited Reeves with Lawrence Fishburne, who appeared as Neo's mentor Morpheus in The Matrix. Die-hard Matrix fans may have caught another cameo as well. Randall Duck Kim, who played the keymaker in The Matrix Reloaded, showed up as a doctor in the first John Wick film. Keanu Reeves chose the original directors himself. Keanu Reeves had plenty of input on the film, helping to shape his character and working closely with writer David Kolstad, who said Reeves was closely attuned to even the smallest details that could help flesh out his otherwise mysterious character. Keeping in mind Reeves' famously generous nature, it's no surprise that he turned to former crew members from The Matrix to help him create a great action film, specifically David Leitch and Chad Stahelski. Though Reeves initially reached out to two veteran fight choreographers and stuntmen to see if they would simply design the film's action, he hoped they would direct, and luckily for Reeves, they were more than happy to take on the challenge. Having worked with Reeves plenty of times before, Leach and Stahelski were familiar with both his prowess and his process, making stunts and fights on John Wick that much more seamless. Both Leach and Stahelski have credited their work on The Matrix as an inspiration for John Wick, as well as a guiding light for their overall careers. Stahelski said that not just John Wick, but most of the films he's worked on as a stuntman wouldn't exist without the template of The Matrix and both directors have said that watching Lana and Lily Wachowski, the directors of the Matrix trilogy, was essentially a masterclass in directing action that still had an emotional core. 
That brings us to the end of our video, so what do you think about these untold truths about John Wick? Are there any other truths that you know about Keanu Reeves and the John Wick trilogy? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe and bell for notifications on our future content. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.